Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to do the crypto market update and at the end of the video I'll show you my updated trade what I did with Phantom from my last video and show you the performance of that at the moment. Spoiler alert, it didn't go down too well. So as usual we'll cover the market update, we'll cover BTC, Ethereum, total market cap 1, 2, 3 and BTC dominance and I'll give you some cryptos that are worth just looking at for now. I wouldn't really be touching around anything at the moment, just be looking at two cryptos because these two have really stuck out to me above all else and I'm going to give you those recommendations here in this video. If you're new here, welcome on the Crypto Diet and it's my goal with this channel to do every single video with honesty, respect and fairness for all the cryptos. So let's just get started with the market update with Bitcoin. Drop a like and drop a subscribe if you are new here and you're finding this content helpful during your period here during the uh, sort of quiet bear market-ish time. So here we have Bitcoin. I've been using this chart for a while now. The extension tools are still working and until it starts to break these trends and start not to move within these parameters, that's when I'll start adjusting it. But at the moment, it has been playing out beautifully within these zones and these support and resist resistance extension tools that I have been... So Bitcoin's a little bit weird at the moment. I really thought we were going to get another leg up and attack attempt here and probably get rejected before we went back down but we poked our head above the 382 mark at around 41k 41 and a half k just over and we came down again i'm not sure why because it looked pretty good on a chart to be honest we had the really strong high volume low open very high close strong gong very strong against the bar we had a good open as well on the 28th of february came back and it looked like a very good test here before we're off to the races again, but we got rejected and that's just one of those things that happen. I mean, it's just, you know, the tools don't always work the, the, the right way all the time. Things aren't, you know, always gonna work, but we're looking for a method that's always gonna work most of the time. That's what having a chart skills are all about. It's like saying, how much can I do this often enough to make me an income? And that's really what the goal is. But yeah, the weakest sign from Bitcoin at the moment, high open, low close. We will see if we can find support at the 50% mark. We have found support at there several times. So you can see here, here, and a few times just sort of right there-ish. So the 50% mark seems to be pretty good, but I am always open to the idea of Bitcoin going to the 618 mark at $35,402, give or take. So at the moment, it's still too hard to call. We need to give it another day because this is on the daily. We need to give it another day just to see what's happening. Not the strongest close, like I said. Found support on the trend line that I drew here. So we'll see what happens. We need another day just to confirm where we're headed. It's too hard to call. If I had to say, and it's a 50-50 chance, I think we are going to continue grinding across the 50%. I think we'll probably find support there and we'll continue grinding. But like I said, I'm totally open to the fact that we can get 618. If we hit the 618, I'm definitely buying some Bitcoin because it has just done this so many times where we've bounced off the 618, gone to the 236 mark, back down to the 618 mark, back to the 362 mark, back to the 236 mark, and we'll probably get something maybe like that again, but we'll see how we go and how things play out. Now, let's have a look at Ethereum. So Ethereum, very similar. Finding support again on the 382 mark at around two and a half thousand. Going there now, looking like we'll probably test support at some point. I do expect Ethereum to bounce off this. It's bounced off it consistently all the time and very rarely does it dip below it. If it did dip below it to the 50% mark, I would definitely be buying some Ethereum as well because these are just such good buyers, Bitcoin Ethereum. You can never go wrong with buying them. Everything else could turn against you at some point, but Bitcoin Ethereum will always be, in my opinion, always good buys because they are low risk and they'll get you good returns. Let's have a look at total market cap one, which includes all cryptocurrencies. And again, we can see the support of the 786 mark playing out at around 1.65 trillion headed there. Now we'll probably find support. I don't see us dipping too far below it. We can see major, major, major support in that area of support. If my pen can get working there. Okay. Major support right there that you can see the one mark would be next, but I don't think we'll really get there. It would really have to cause a major shakeout for it to get tested the one mark. Total market cap two, which includes all cryptos except for Bitcoin. And we can see here support coming once again at the one mark, probably tested there again. So all these things are starting to flow that will probably have a bit more of a retracement across all markets as you start to delve into multiple charts. And we can see the one mark coming in at 917 billion. Total market cap three, which includes all cryptos except for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Once again, at the 786 mark at around 685 billion. So found resistance, plot back down. I've drawn my yellow horizontal line here and that signals to me where I think support will come back at. And you can see how many times we found support on it. Worst case, the one mark at 597 billion. So we still have a bit of leeway, still a bit of pullback we can potentially expect from the market, but I don't expect anything crazy substantial. Having a look at BTC dominance, I did say I expected to go to 50% and get rejected. So the 50% on my retracement is all the way here, 44.19%. So you can see 
almost bounced off it perfectly back down tested again back down so i think btc dominance will sort of hang around this will hang around that 50 percent extension tool here that you can see on the right and the 50 percent retracement tool here on the left so hopefully that's all drawn nicely and easy for you to understand let's have a look at the two cryptos that i think are uh, i'm looking at, at the moment one is luna Luna just put, put in the all-time high. I did say in one of my crypto market updates that Luna was looking very, very good uh, and that it was probably going to have a run at the all-time high. It did have the all-time right high, but I don't see any cryptos, pretty much any cryptos doing much of an all-time high at the moment. We're not in a bull market. So that's why you see so many sell orders happening here. So you've got the, the buying climax happening here where you get high volume, or not high volume, and then getting dumped on closes. Still okay, but almost mid on the bar. And then you get the confirmation that the buying climax happened with a down bar playing out. So Luna definitely on its way down. How much lower? Look, I, I would love for Luna to break the three at two mark at $74. So that would be right here. That would be right here, $74.31. I would love to see a break and I wanna keep seeing a break. I would love to pick up some Luna at the major 50% retracement, which if I look is all the way here at $54.10. I really want more Luna. It's just looked so unstoppable on a chart. You don't really see Luna dip below its 50% for a long time period. So it generally looks pretty good. I don't have to show you a Bitcoin or Ethereum chart because no chart in crypto is looking as good as Luna putting in the all time high at a market like this. And what that tells me is you definitely want Luna on your side during the next phase of the bull run. I think this coin is gonna do fantastic. Then we have a look at Arweave. This is the only other one that I was looking at. I do own a fair bit of Arweave myself and it has gone on a pretty good run, but it's coming back down. But you can just see what I was really looking at was the 24th of February. You can see just how low this was the big day in Ukraine. And then you can see how high it closed. Closed very, very strong on the bar on the 24th of Feb on high volume. And then we were sort of off to the races, had the beautiful test on the 4th of March. And then we were up again and you can see close strong coming back down now again. I don't think think oh, we was going to break down that bad. I could be wrong. We have to take it day by day, even though we have a bit of a bad bar here. It's looking like Luna, it's looking like oh, we does want to put in more higher highs as we continue this upward trajectory. So I had high hopes for Arweave in 2022. I still do. I think this is going to do very, very well. In 2022, I think the fundamentals are awesome, but I do not want to see this chart breaking down. The absolute lowest I want to see this go down, otherwise I will have to reduce my positioning, is the 786 mark at $21.22. I do not want to see it break that mark. If you broke that, I have to unload some of my Arweave, um, unfortunately, but it's done a great job finding support there and having higher lows there. If I look at Arweave against the, the Ethereum chart, you can see across the major 50%. So you can see a lot of higher lows playing out. Got crypto above the 50% and we're finding support right on the 50% retracement at the moment. So you can see how good these tools work. So high hopes for Arweave. We have to take it day by day. There is no crypto I would 100% be looking at to buy at the moment. Everything is looking like a cooling off period. It sort of just came out of nowhere and went, but this is the market at the moment. We're in a very tradish kind of market where everyone's taking anywhere between 10 to 30% profits. This will pump Bitcoin up. Retail will FOMO in thinking this is the next bull run and then they will dump it on retail and then get the profits and collect it again. And I've been saying that for a while now that I just think Bitcoin and Ethereum are gonna keep going through this ping pong effect where we keep going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And retail just keeps buying up here and they'll sell it to the smart money. The smart money will pick it up and then sell it again and again and again. That's what's been happening about the last month, month and a half. And I think it's gonna continue until we get some real momentum and real push through through those resistance barrier across Bitcoin and Ethereum. But I'll keep you updated if that happens with my videos. Last thing is the crypto portfolio tracker. So I did sell my Phantom. So I did sell my Phantom. I did buy it around this black area. And one of the things that, well, there was two things that really made me want to sell my Phantom straight away. And I did unload it earlier today. So I bought it. I saw the up thrust wasn't the best look, but we still had an up bar the next day, which is when I bought it on the 9th of March. I bought it for about a dollar 33 American ish or about a dollar 88 Australian. And then it went up another up thrust. We had two consecutive up thrusts, which basically means the price gets bought back up, bought back up, bought back up bought back up and then the sell-offs just happen crushed back down and then he has to go through it a second time and it's, it's sort of like going to the gym right when you put all your effort on the bench press and you're pushing all the way up and you're pushing 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 the weight's so heavy and then you push up you get that nice rep you get that nice squeeze and you have to do it a second time you don't really have much energy left to keep going through those reps that's basically what's happened here where two up thrusts on the 8th of March and the 9th of March. 
and then we have the confirmation of the weakness of phantom with the down part down bar to follow with a high open and it's looking like we're going to close so it's looking weak at the moment i just had to be un unbiased about that and i had to just sell off because i didn't want to cut my loss i want to cut my losses short and have you know live to fight another day and that's basically what i've done here so if you were keeping track i put my excel and my google doc spreadsheet here and if you have a look here i've got my sale and what happened to it so i sold it it was a it was a up thrust two with consecutive up thrust followed by a down bar that's what made me sell it i lost about just shy of 10 percent about 140 australian dollars i was happy i was happy to make that loss i didn't care it was you know the upside seemed a lot better at the time but that's what to say that's just short-term trading for you it can be quite hard in this during this market so i will you know that that's just how it played out that's okay but at the moment phantom just looks weak and we have to give it time to sort of get out of the rut that it's currently in at the moment I hope you found it fun and informative if you did again give me a like give me a subscribe and i've got two other videos to recommend for you so check those out but until then stay safe everyone and i will see you on the next video